This is Nick with LogosByNick.com, and in this tutorial I'll be demonstrating how you can create a clipping mask using Affinity Photo for the iPad. Now to get us started here, as you can see, I already have my photo opened up. That would be the first step. The second step would be to generate some kind of shape or path or object to use as your clipping mask. For this demonstration, I will be using a shape. So I'm going to come down here to the left, bottom left side of the screen where this little square icon is, and I'm going to tap on that. I'm going to tap on it again so we get this list of different shapes to choose from. And for this demonstration, I will be using the heart down here at the bottom of the list. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my pencil and just uh, tap and drag on the canvas to create this heart like that. Now what you may want to do now is change the color of this heart so that it contrasts with the composition of your image a little better so you can see it in comparison to the image. And you'll also want to bring down the opacity of it as well so you can see what's beneath the image. So to do that, I'm just going to tap on this little color disk up here to the top right corner of my screen. It's represented by this little white circle up here. I'm going to tap that and we're going to get this color wheel. I'm going to make this a contrasting shade, a color that really sticks out on the image here. Maybe something something like that, like green. And right below the color wheel, you'll see this little slider right here for bringing down the opacity. I'm gonna bring down that as I'm gonna bring that down as well. And then I'm gonna close out of the color menu by tapping on that little color disc again. And now I'm gonna grab the move tool, which is over here to the top left. And I'm just gonna click and drag this over the portion that I would like to clip. And from here you can resize the shape as well. Now if you tap and drag on one of the corner nodes, it's going to resize it like that. It's going to allow you to distort it based on the width and the height. If you want to lock the proportions, just use your other finger while clicking and dragging like this. Use your other finger and hold a tap on the screen and that'll lock the proportions like that. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to move this right over my subject right here. And now I'm going to create a clipping mask from this. So in order to do that, we're going to want to open up the Layers menu, which is at the top right corner of the screen. If you're having trouble locating these different tools, you can use this little question mark icon down here at the bottom right corner of the screen. If you hold a tap over that, it'll place a text label over everything on your user interface there. So if you notice in the top right, it says Layer Studio. That's what I'm looking for. I'm going to tap that. Now, if you notice, we have these different layers here. I'm going to get rid of this layer right here. This layer isn't meant to be here. This was from a previous attempt to record this tutorial that I made. You should have your image layer down here at the bottom and your shape up here at the top. So what you want to do is hold a tap over the image layer and you're going to be able to move it in three different positions. You could put it at the bottom of the heart layer or the shape layer as indicated by that blue line. If you notice the blue line going through the bottom right there represents that it will move the layer to the bottom of this order. Or if you bring it up here to the top, it'll move this to the top of the order. But if you bring it in the middle right here, it'll create a clipping mask from it. So I'm just going to put it in the middle and then just let go. And if you, if you notice here, we now have two different options to choose from. We can choose, we can, we can transform the shape or we could transform the image. Now let me show you both. If you take the shape right here, you could take this and move this towards the center of your page like that. Now if you take the image, you can now edit the image and move this around as needed and even scale this down if you'd like and do what you gotta do there. And then you could tap on this again, maybe make this a little bigger. Again, hold a tap with your other finger to lock the proportions like that. Move this towards the center of the page. And there you go, I think that should do it for this tutorial. That is how you can easily create a clipping mask uh, using Affinity Photo for the iPad. So if you have any questions, just drop a comment below. And as always, thanks for watching.